Just a little update tonight um, on the Red Wing sawmills, the 2927s. Um, these are the uh, Briar Oil Slick Leather and I've been wearing these for about a month and as I like to do after about a month when boots are comfortable and largely broken in so I can wear them all day long I'd like to share some thoughts on on those sort of more informed uh, first impressions, the experience on break-in, the sizing. Um, so here we are, these are well broken in now, they were really really quite easy to break in um, so I can share those thoughts with you. So if you haven't seen the original video on these, my opinion is these are absolutely fantastic uh, winter boots from the Red Wing Heritage line and they also kind of break the rules. The, rare, uh, the Red Wing Heritage line um, really is quite uh, simple, it's quite traditional, it doesn't change very often um, and the features on the boots are also limited so these kind of break the rules. They've got um, D hooks which is fairly unique, something I've I don't think I've seen on any other Red Wing boots, I might be wrong, tell me where they're, where they're found, but D-hooks, they've got the storm welt, so that's not quite that unusual, we've got that sort of thing on the 1907s here, but they've got a storm welt, but most importantly, these are lined with a, a nice wicking lining, and inside they've got an insole as well, so they've got a bit more going on, which really does make it a great winter boot, so really interesting to get my hands on these, and I've been really enjoying these. So in the UK here, we're coming into winter. So these have got absolutely soaked. Um, we haven't really had any icy weather yet, but they've kept my feet plenty warm enough. Um, the insoles and the lining just give that, that extra little bit of thermal insulation so you don't get that sort of cold transfer through the sort of leather sole. Um, and it just gives the impression of sort of wearing that sort of extra thick pair of socks. Really, really nice, really comfy. Um, so in terms of breaking, as I say, these have been very, very easy. I always uh, start out my expectations for Red Wing boots with probably one of the more challenging boots I've had from them, which is the 875s. Um, this leather is nothing like the uh, Oro original, I think it is, in the, the 875s. Um, this is a very, very supple leather, very, very quick to yield and no trouble at all with a break-in. Um, often on the soles, uh, it takes a little bit, of, little bit of time to sort of break in the leather footbed and the cork midsole, um, but these, pretty easy. The Vibram soles just offer that little bit more flexibility um, than the um, normal Christy wedge. Obviously, it doesn't quite give the uh, all-day long comfort that the Christy wedge and the support it provides does, but you know, in terms of longevity, Vibram is very, very hard to beat. And uh, yeah, these have been really easy to break in. In terms of breaking, my technique, you've heard it before, I'm sure. Um, I always go from the approach of little and often. So if you've got new boots and you think you're going to wear them all day long on the first day, go for it, but you're going to have blisters and you're not going to wear those boots for a couple of days whilst your feet recover. So I always try and wear them around the house for a bit. Um, just get them broken in, so not doing huge miles or anything like that, just little and often, break them in, and then they'll soon be ready for you to go on that hike. Um, the other thing that I've really sort of discovered, which is hugely beneficial, is good quality socks. Um, so beginning of the year, I started out with Darn Tough, and more recently I've moved on to a UK brand called uh, Bridgedale, uh, which has been absolutely fantastic. So I sort of alternate between a, a thin and a thick sock just to break in those boots. Um, yeah, so breaking has been super easy. Uh, the sizing, um, quite divisive. Uh, on my last video, obviously, there's the discussion over whether you should size up, size down. Um, well, I don't think anyone sizes up in Red Wings, but I do tend to go true to size. Um, now, a lot of people would choose to go down half a size, maybe a full size. I went true to size. Some commenters were saying that the, the consideration should be about the insole and the, the lining and maybe I should actually size up. But I found true to size absolutely fine. Um, the, the insole um, is very, very low profile and it quite quickly packs down. So whilst it gives you that little bit of uh, thermal insulation, it does pack down pretty sort of flat. It doesn't take up a whole load of room in the, in the boot. It's not like a a sort of rubber sort of two-part insole which takes up a huge amount of room in there um, 
But yeah, so that's been an important factor. Now, one of the interesting things is this is on the 23 last, which is the same as the 875, hence the discussion on whether you should size up because of the insole. Um, the 1907s over here are on the 45 last, which is actually a little bit deeper in profile, just to allow a bit more space in there for that insole. So that's where the discussion started off. These are absolutely fine. I think the, the 23 last is absolutely fine for the... Uh, for the sort of insole that they've included and I'd say whatever you've had in the 875s whatever you've had in in anything else on the 23 last these will be absolutely fine having said that if you follow my channel you'll have seen my most recent review on the the rovers here I have actually sized down on those so for the first time ever with red wings I've sized down to the uh, well to a seven and a half so half a size down and these are working really nicely. Um, I've been wearing for the last sort of day or so, and they're absolutely perfect. So I might be becoming a size down convert. And one of the other things about these is, on the video they were sort of a very consistent sort of brown colour. Um, after a moment of wear, as soon as I started flexing these, wonderful patina sprung out of this leather, the rough and tough leather. And uh, it did just remind me how fantastic that leather is and, and just how quickly it can build some character. Okay, just diving in to have a look at the boots in a bit of close up here. You can see that the uh, the Briar Oil Slick leather's picking up a slight patina, only very gentle, still plenty oily. Um, the soles, as you probably know, my opinion of Vibram soles is that they're probably one of the most robust and long wearing soles, so there's very little wear after a month. Um, these will be good for for many years to be honest they're, they're such a great sole um, very very rugged um, I think the only downside of them is, is if you stand in mud or anything less pleasant uh, it's a bit of a nightmare to get it out that tread but a great sole apart from that um, obviously you've got the, the storm welt on these and one of the things I really like about these and, and probably just sets them apart from most other Red Wing boots and I couldn't quite put my finger on it when I was first looking at them, but the fact that they've used a black stitch around the, the toe here, it makes them look completely different. Uh, very subtle difference, but makes them look very different to the uh, the 1907s and the uh, 875s. Just that difference of having a black stitch rather than white stitch makes that mock toe a little bit more subtle. Um, quite interesting, really, but I do really really like these these are lovely boots actually d-rings again again sort of not a typical feature on red wings speed hooks at the top a couple of models feature those but always quite like those um padded uh collar there tab at the back you know there's quite a few unique features on these really really nice boots just taking a very quick look on the inside this boot here has got the uh the laces out so you can see nicely lined throughout you've got that wool uh, insole super low profile offering a little bit of a uh, thermal benefit but not really packing out the boot at all so yeah really really nice well that pretty much brings us to the end of the video um, as I say super easy breaking on these one month in very very happy with these um, I think this will be a really good winter uh, companion so wet weather cold weather they've got it all I really like these and, and they've they've actually sort of uh, leveled up the uh, the heritage line I think with these I think these are a really great boot actually um, if you haven't seen my channel before please check it out if you're interested in getting some of these um, check out the link below also um, herring boots who are a local bootmaker to me um, they were very kind and sponsored this video so they've provided these boots for review They'll provide a 10% discount to my viewers, so use the discount code below if you're shopping with Herring. And uh, yeah, if you thought this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Of course, I'd love it if you subscribed. If you haven't seen the channel before, um, lots of boots, bit of denim, bit of everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of thing. Cycling, guitar, check it out, might share some other common interests. And that's about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.